What's going on everybody? It's Game Unbox and Reviews here and welcome back to another LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 video. So in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to create the DC Comics character Firestorm from the Legends of Tomorrow TV show using the in-game customizer. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so obviously the first thing you're going to do is come to the character customizer, which is in Avengers Mansion. Then you want to come all the way over here and choose a brand new character slot. And not turn invisible like your vision just did. Uh, there we go. And brand new character slot. So we're on custom 9 now. So in this video, of course, we're going to be making the Jefferson Jackson version of Firestorm, which is the version that you see in the CW TV show Legends of Tomorrow. I've been getting a lot of requests for this version of the character especially. I was going to do a classic version, but this this seemed to be the most popular, so that's what I'm going with. Alright, so, first off, let's get rid of those weapons. We don't want any of the weapons. We don't want that mask either. Now, I have the perfect head for this because I wanted to try and find a head that looked really cool, you know, that had the white eyes that he has in the show because I really like how they didn't miss that in that show. They actually gave him the white eyes, which is really, really nice. So if you scroll all the way up to the top here and you give him Adam Warlock's eyes, I think that looks pretty good. I think it looks really nice. And when you have the flame for the hair, it actually turned out really, really nice. So you'll see really soon how much better it can actually look. Now for the body... So the body that I actually settled on, that I thought looked pretty cool, was, if I can find it, Yondu's. I think that looks pretty decent. I mean, it's not completely accurate to what you see in the show, but like I said, you know, the, you're not going to be able to make every character 100% accurate. But when I was playing as this guy in Free Roam, I thought he was good. So I thought he looked pretty decent. I mean, I can go through a few other options. If you guys want to see, you could do Taserface. Actually, maybe that one, because that kind of looks like... That kind of looks like the thing, you know, I don't know what you call it, the, you know, the thing on his chest kind of looks like that's strapped onto it. Maybe we'll go with that one. All right, let's have a little, a little look through a few others. I was actually 100% on Yondu, but I didn't even think about using Taserface. Let's scroll at the top and see what else we can find. Uh, do, 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 do. We got this one. Nah. We got this one here. It's between Taserface and Yondu. Taserface and Yondu. Yondu, Taserface. I think Taserface looks more accurate for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, well, there's the fur on the back. That's a bit annoying. That looks better on the back. Oh, it's a shame you can't swap the backs, isn't it? Maybe one day. Maybe we'll be able to do that in future LEGO games. I think we'll leave this one on for now, and then if I change my mind at the end, then, you know, we can do that. We can always change our minds. Then we'll go to the arms, we're gonna make them red. I mean, there might be other options. Maybe you could go with, uh, these. No, actually, that doesn't work at all. Um, you could go with, let's see, is there any actual dark red arms that are detailed? I don't think there is, no. No, there isn't, so don't bother giving them any, any of that. You wanna make, uh, the hands black for the gloves. go and then you want to get the legs now the legs that i chose for this version of firestorm was actually ant-man's because i can see he's got like red printing on it and i thought that looked quite nice you know the kind of suits that look pretty nicely then for the hips you want something just very similar you know just red lining on the hips if i can find something good where is it i mean i think i settled on this one here Red Skull Iron Man armor, but there might be something better if we scroll down. No, I don't think there is anything better, actually. Uh, no. Nope, nothing better. Okay, that'll do me. Yeah, that looks cool. I mean, let me try... Maybe, maybe black just looks better, just normal black. I think, yeah, maybe, because that looks kind of metallic, doesn't it? No, you know what? No, I like that. Actually, that looks a lot more detailed. When you look at it from far away, you can see it looks a lot better. Now, of course, we're going to give him some hair. Now, you're not going to use any of these hair pieces up here. You are, in fact, going to be using a preset one, and it's this one right here for Dormammu. And when you put that headpiece on, I think it just really brings it all together. It looks really, really nice after you've done that. Now, let's go back to the body one more second. One more try, you know, just to see if it looks better. Oh, that does look so much better, though. 
That does look so much better. Okay, you know what? We're going with that one. We're going to ignore the fur, and we're just going to go with that, because that really does look pretty good, in my opinion. I'm quite happy with that. Yeah. All right, let's stick with that. Now we're going to move on to the powers and abilities. So, for the abilities, let's see. You gotta, you gotta think, you got Martin Stein in his head, <laughs> you know, telling him what to do and everything. So he's definitely gonna be able to use Techno Access because he'd probably tell him, you know, how to do it. Uh, wall climbing, I don't think you need that when you can fly. Mind control, can he, uh, mind control people? I don't think he can. I'm sorry if I've got that wrong, but I'll leave that one for now. I'm kind of looking at, you know, what he could do in LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham, especially, because I'm, I'm trying to, because I think they, pretty much nailed that character in that game, I think. I don't think they were missing any abilities from what I could think of, so I'm kind of just focusing on that for now, you know, just the LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham abilities. Because he could shoot fire, he could fly, he could hit targets, he had hazard protection, and he was acrobatic. Unfortunately, we can't make him acrobatic, but at least we can make him fly. Uh, so we won't have that. Crack LEGO walls, no. Deflect, no, no, no. Time manipulation, no. Okay, none of this, I guess. I guess the only thing you're gonna have is techno access in there. I don't think you need any of this. Then for square, obviously we're going to shoot some bolts and we're gonna shoot some flaming ones. We'll go with that one, I think. That looks pretty cool. And then if you go with orange, it makes it look like fire. Yes, I love that. Never gets old. Love seeing that, uh, that effect. Don't worry about that. I'll sort that out later. He's not supposed to be doing that animation. But, yeah, like I said, I'll sort it out. Just seeing if there's any better alternatives. But, no, I think that's good. I'm happy with that. Then, of course, you want the damage to be heat. Uh, bolt targeting. Uh... Yeah? I, I, I guess. I mean, what are we going to have on hold square? Nothing? Probably nothing, yeah. Unless... Oh, maybe we'll have an explosion attack. Uh... I'll go back to that. I'm gonna go back to that. Cause usually I'd like to have circle, hold circle. I'd like to have hold circle as the fire beam, which we'll do right now. I'll have that one. Beam damage type, heat. Beam color, orange, so it looks like fire. Beam origin, we'll go with the both hands. Cause that looks pretty sweet. And then for Tap circle, let's see here, right. What we're gonna have on tap circle. So you tap circle, what does he do? I guess, I guess he would, uh, yeah, do the explosion attack maybe? Yeah, I get, I, I tell you, yeah, I'll tell you what, what we'll do is we'll have hold square, won't have anything because we'll have the bolts and we'll have it as targeting so you'll have targeting bolts for tap square and then you hold square and you should target at least that's how i think it works then for tap circle we will have the explosion attack we'll go with this one's probably the best we'll go with that one yeah that looks pretty cool and explosion type will have heat. Now it's really quick there, but we're not gonna make them like really fast, so that should be sorted. And the hold circle, obviously we got the beam already. So yeah, I think that's set. So we got the beam, we've got the uh, explosion attack. Square has the bolts, as you can see here, which will, uh, you know, like I said, I'll fix that. Uh, hold square, nothing, because obviously you're gonna be targeting stuff. All right, cool, now for X, double tap X, I guess you just give him flight and hold X. I'm not sure if you give him hyper jump or not. That's kind of up to you guys. I mean, yeah, I guess you would because you can just, you know, launch off into the air. Yeah, just keep... Usually when you give him a character flight, they can pretty much hyper jump. So that makes sense. Okay, we'll leave that. All right, nice. Now, so we've done the appearance, we've done the abilities, doesn't have any weapons, we're gonna move on to the passive traits. I'm really glad that we're sticking with Taserface's piece because that looks really, really good. Really, really good. For the health icon, we'll just go with red, I guess. For the health type, we'll go with standard. For the voice, we'll go with just any old voice. For the movement speed, default. And for the target reticle, we'll go with... I think that one looks quite, quite cool, actually. Yeah, stick with this one. That looks nice. 
and that's it. Now, of course, all we need to do is name them and then choose a background image. So we're just going to go into here. Remember, it's in caps because everything's registered in caps. Fire storm. Fire storm. There we go. Background image. We'll just have something hot, <laughs> basically. We'll have that. That looks pretty sweet. And there you go. That is my custom-made CW Firestorm in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. And I think he looks pretty awesome. I'm really happy with this one. Now, of course, what we're going to do is drop Firestorm into the Chronopolis hub world and see just what he can do. And here he is! This is of course my custom made Firestorm from Legends of Tomorrow in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 and he turned out really good. I don't know about you guys, but I'm very happy about this one. Of course, I've teamed him up with one of my previous creations, Green Arrow, the Stephen Amell version, because it looks pretty awesome seeing these two together. It's crazy how good you can make characters look in this oh, game. Whether, you, whether you're making a Marvel character, or a DC again. character, or, or, or not even them, like something else, it's just crazy. It's crazy how good you can make these characters look. Alright, so, anyway, enough of me rabbiting on. What can this character do? Well, of course, on Square... Ah, right, yeah, I forgot to do that again. Okay, so if you don't know how to do that, how to get rid of that strange animation, basically choose another character. So we'll go with Sandman, and then just scroll back down, choose Firestorm again, and there you go. Then your ability should be back, and you'll do the cool animation. Yes, look at that. Very nice. Very, very nice. And of course, on Hold Circle, he does this which is really cool. And then uh, on, I believe we pressed, was it tap circle? Yeah, tap circle does that. And then on hold, uh, what? Um, what? <laughs> what? What? I have adored what the heck? Since I was a boy, I cannot get enough of them. Great, great joke. <laughs> I don't know what's happened there guys I'm I apologize for that um <laughs> basically I'm guessing that's what happened that's what that's why um that's what happens when you choose targeting but at least now we know that's what happens so in future what I would have probably done is instead of pressing circle to do this move I would have used hold square I think that makes a lot more sense or hold square for the beam or whatever just swap things around basically but yeah let's try not to use this very strange looking bow and arrow again I wonder why he's using that that's very strange whatever let's go for a fly right let's see what we can find up here anything good any crime? crime that's right yes! <laughs> Give me that crime. Let me destroy it. <laughs> Shut up, crime! Whoa! Look at the effect on that guy after you burn him. That's pretty cool. Look at that. His health isn't going down, but I'm still destroying him. Look at that. Absolute piece of cake. Whoa! I didn't mean to do that. Or did I? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> Maybe, I did mean to do that one, though. I'll, I'll give you that. I did mean to do that. Oh, he looks so cool. Alright, let's see if we can find some bad guys in ancient Egypt. Thing is, this is the Legends of Tomorrow version of Firestorm, but I did make a pretty decent looking classic one as well. And if you do, you've changed the uh, the outfit just a little, you could probably make uh, Ronnie Raymond as well. I think that was his name, the previous Firestorm in the CW shows. Yeah, I think that was his name. Man, I have a ridiculous amount of studs. Like, I, you could take these. If I could give you guys these studs, I would. Because I don't need them. I should probably turn that multiplier off. But I don't want to. <laughs> I actually like seeing it go up and seeing how, how high I can get all the studs. You know, what's the highest percentage of studs I can have. I know that's ridiculous. But hey, you know, we'll see what happens. 
love that move. That's one of my favorites. Very cool. Do 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 do. Have I shown you guys inside the pyramids yet? You can go inside the pyramids. It's pretty sweet. Check this out. Boom. There you go. You walk around and everything. Pretty sweet. I like that. I like that they give you the option to be able to go inside the pyramids. And then there's another one over here. Well, this isn't a pyramid, but you can go inside here at least. There you go. Whoa, what the? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Interesting. No, don't use your bow and arrow. You don't have a bow and arrow. Bad firestorm. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. I'm telling you, search Heroes Wrestle Scorpion. It's on like three gazillion views already. What can I say? I just like making do. Okay, uh, have we been in here? Have I shown you this one? Oh, this looks creepy. Want to help me play a prank on the other archaeologists? Nah. I thought we could decorate the statue and see if they notice. I said nah. I bet there is some great stuff we could use around here. No. Okay, well... Whoa, 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 what the heck is up with Green Arrow's eyes? You feeling all right, Ollie? Can can he use this? I just want to try that. I do actually want to see if this works. Oh, sweet! Cool, so custom characters can pull ropes down uh, with their bow and arrow and stuff. That's pretty sweet. I'm glad they can do that. You know, I was just thinking that the one thing our guy was missing was an elegant mustache. <laughs> is that all we had to do? Oh, there's other stuff to do, but we're not going to bother doing that right now. Come on, Ellie. Let's go. Fly! Whoa, look at the flames when you're in uh, Noir. That looks really cool. Yes, take him out, Firestorm. I don't want no trouble. I'm actually really happy with the way this one turned out. I probably say that all the time for all my creations, but uh, I don't know. This character creator is good, you know? <laughs> you can really make things that you, you picture in your head, you try to make them in the game, and most of the time they come out pretty good. So obviously I'm going to be happy with them. I mean, not all the time. There have been moments where I'm like, eh, that doesn't work, and then I scrap it. Um, but those are the ones that I don't actually cover in videos, you know. But I always try and go back again and again. Try to make them again and see if I can make them better. That's what I did with uh, Cole from Infamous. You know, I tried over and over again to make a really good looking one. I just wasn't happy. And eventually, after I unlocked a lot of pieces in the customizer, I eventually made a really cool looking version of Cole that I was very happy with. So, yeah, if you, if you guys are having trouble with the character creator, don't sweat it, you know. Just try and try again and eventually you'll probably come up with something pretty cool i'm pretty certain of that i'm so glad they added dormammu's piece to the customizer i think that's great i think it really allows people to make uh well characters like firestorm different ghost riders you know stuff like that um you could make like another version of dormammu easily you've got dormammu's head as well in the customizer oh Crime! Crime, crime, crime. I think it's really cool seeing Firestorm especially in this game though because like, you know, the Legends of Tomorrow, they're all about going into different time periods and stuff. So this kind of works really nicely. You know, we were in Noir, we're gonna go to the future in a second. So it's pretty sweet. Take that! Yeah! You're a true hero! I know. <laughs> Thank you. That was fast. I'll let you know if I find any others. Please do. Alright, let's get moving. I'm gonna go to 2099 because I want to see what he looks like there. Should be pretty cool. Can we get all the way to the top of here? Actually, you know what? I haven't actually gone to space really in these videos. Let's go to nowhere. Why not? You know? Why not? Well, quickly we'll fly through 2099. I mean, we're not really in a rush. Whoa! Calm down. Whee! I think, you know, I know a lot of people have complained in the past about the flight controls in the LEGO 
well, Lego games, not just Lego Marvel, but Lego games in general. And I can understand that, you know, they've been a bit hit and miss. But I think in this game, they've actually managed to kind of nail it. Like, I have no problem with the flying controls. If you do have a problem, probably just play it a lot and you'll get, you know, used to it. That's what I think, at least. Hey, do you mind? I'm trying to... No. Go over here. No, I see... Oh, come on. Yes! That's what I wanted to do. How dare you? Public eye response times are pretty shocking, huh? Ha. Ah, shock. Great job. That's what they all say in 2099. Shock this, shock that. You ever get nervous? What the shock? On those transparent sidewalks? Alright. No. Completely forgot what I was saying. <laughs> anyway, let's head on over to nowhere. Or oh, Atalan! Maybe Atalan first. Off we go to Atalan. Oh yeah, that was it. The flight controls. Yeah, so I, I've i always... Uh... Whoa. Whoa, okay. The sky was changing even though I was going to Atalan. Uh, I've always, you know, seen that people aren't a big fan of the flight controls. But this time around, I think they've really done a good job. I think the more you play of it, the better you'll get at the flight controls. And it's just pretty easy in my opinion. I mean, look. Fly... Well, I hit something there. Bad example, but, you know, you can fly through here. We're in Atalan. Oh, yeah, there's crimes in Atalan. Forgot about that. That was close. Thanks. Let's go. Whoa. But, yeah, I, uh, I have no problem with the flight controls. If I could find a race... I might be able to show you guys how, you know, easy it can kind of get eventually if you just play the game a lot, which I do. <laughs> That's, uh, you know, there's no question there. All right. Um, any bad guys? Ah! I mean, not bad guys, so any races. I can't seem to find one at the moment. There might be one in nowhere. There might be a race in nowhere. I'll have a check. Let's fly on over to nowhere. Oh, it's so spooky. It's so spooky. I love it. Look how cool he looks in space. Look at that. So cool, man. So cool. Hello. Hello. Sorry. You shouldn't really be staying up here, though. I mean, you're living on top of the head of a celestial. I mean, not exactly a great place to, uh, you know, make a home. Right, where's that race? I swear there's a race around here somewhere. It must be. Right? Maybe if you uh, go here, you might find it. I thought there was a race up here, but it doesn't appear to be. Eh. That's all right. I know there's one in Atalan, though. Hey, there's actually one I haven't done. Look at that. And you unlock Crimson Dynamo. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in Atalan I haven't done from the look of it. Okay, let's go to back to Atalan then. Actually, you know what? Instead of flying back all the way over there, all I, I can just do this. Boom, fast travel. Gotta love it. <laughs> Gotta love fast travel. All right, just to give you a good example of the flight, let's see if I can actually do the flight justice and show how it can actually be quite fun.
Sorry, guys, I'm just concentrating. <laughs> I unlock Crimson Dynamo if I do this, so... I want Crimson Dynamo! And that's, of course, more pieces for the customizer as well. Yes! I think I did pretty good then. I'm happy with that. So I unlock Crimson Dynamo. Very nice. All right, let's head on back to Asgard and uh, we'll call it a day. But this has been a really fun showcase. You know, this is one of the characters I was messing around with and I saw a lot of people requesting and I wasn't sure if I could actually make a pretty decent looking Firestorm. But no, he looks great. He looks really good and I hope you guys feel the same way. You have returned to man the cannon? I've not returned to man the cannon, but I've returned to end the video. There we go, boom. Thanks for your help, Green Arrow. Until next time. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for lots more videos real soon. And as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.